I'm Chelsea, one of the beauty experts here at Essential, and I've been lucky enough to get my hands on the new Initio Narcotic Delight. And this collection is all about attraction, pleasure, um, and just overall seductiveness, really. This fills the gap by being, I would say, one of the most like low-key, sexy, under the radar of the collection. The cherry tones and the berry side of it really do sort of give it a different edge and it's so, so seductive. I can't wait to tell you a bit more about it. And yes, the 50% um, Hedione is in this to still enhance the pleasure receptors in your brain to make sure you're gonna love it and everyone else around you will too. Narcotic Delight will be the one that you love. If you're looking for something that is distinctly a little bit more feminine sweet because the vanilla in this mixed with the cherry and the cognac creates this really subdued sexiness that, I don't know, it just makes me stand a little bit taller, feel a little bit sexier than when I wear, say, um, psychedelic love. I know I've mentioned that this is feminine to me. However, I really want to note that all of these scents are unisex and men will love the vanilla because it's one of the most attractive notes to men. So the big question is, what does it smell like? So I'm going to give it a little spray. So firstly, when you spray it, you'll instantly think it's sweet. I get hit with this kind of bubbly cherry. I don't know if anyone remembers that, like a cola cherry. It's not a sharp, super sweet cherry. Then you can start to smell the booziness coming through and like the whiskey, the warm cognac. It really pairs well with the cherry and it creates this sort of mysterious, kind of moody aroma, which I love. You can definitely pick out then the pepper. They're almost simmering in the background. Um, the colors as well, you can really smell. So the sort of dark red of the cherry, the pink of the peppercorn, and then the cola color of the cognac. Like this is what this fragrance is smelling like. I would then say it's really soft. It's not out there, it's not in your face, it's it's warm, it's skin-like. If I could describe it like a material, it would probably be, you know, a dark, dark satin that's sort of draped on the skin, soft, stunning to look at, but really barely there. The vanilla then really starts to kick in. And I think it just completely encapsulates the whole thing. It makes it way more addictive, softens it out a bit, and I know for a fact that when I wear it, that's what I constantly get then, even a day after. So when I smell it and I try and think about the fragrance that it reminds me of, I definitely say um, Rouge Charay by Atelier d'Ors, and that's because of the vanilla. And a lot of people are comparing it to Altaya by Parfum Stamali. This is again because of the vanilla. However, this would be if Parfum Stamali Altaya had a female com companion as such, I think this would be nice side by side because it's got almost that sexier edge, not as mask and fresh. Longevity, as we know, when it comes to an issue, there is nothing like it. And from my experience, Narcotic Delight is exactly the same. I get about eight to 12 hours, depending on how much I've sprayed. If you're wondering the best place, time to wear this one, based on its rich notes, you would automatically say autumn and winter because it's a lot more richer, warmer than your normal fresher fragrance for spring and summer. You would also automatically jump to it's an evening fragrance because of its longevity and because of its rich, warm Eau de Parfum strength. I think this is a really lovely alternative if you like a richer, warmer scent for spring and summer because of the cherryness. It's lighter. So again, it's really subjective. As you can see from the packaging, it really does reflect the quality and the experience of the fragrance. I really like the purple too, because when you spray it and you see the purple, you really get that sort of mysterious luxury mood that it creates. Um, it's absolutely stunning. This has become my daily go-to because I can rely on it. I can rely on it smelling amazing. I can rely on it lasting. And it's just become the perfect way to sort of perk me up in the morning because it is so beautiful inside and out.